Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Jake with DTF Fishing, back today with another installment in my complete knot tying series, Not Easy. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys a really special knot. It's one of the easiest knots for tying your main line to your leader or your backing to your main line. Now recently I switched over to the FG knot for connecting my main line to my leader, but up until that point I had always been using the uni to uni and it has never ever failed me on a fish. Today I still use it to connect my backing to my main line and I believe it's a knot that every fisherman should learn, especially if you're just starting out and you need to learn how to connect your leader to your main line. If you guys do enjoy today's video, I would appreciate it if you You'd like comment and subscribe and without further ado let's go tie a knot all right guys and gals for the purposes of today's knot tying demonstration i'm going to be using two differing colors of high visibility 200 pound braid now typically we'd be using this knot to connect our mainline braid to our monofilament or fluorocarbon leader material but with these lines it's just going to be easier for you guys to see what i'm doing now this is a knot that i don't want you guys to overcomplicate, so i'm going to briefly explain to you guys how the uni to uni knot works we're essentially going to tie two uni knots we're going to tie one uni knot from our main line to our leader material and one uni knot from our leader material to our main line now when we tie these knots we're going to tie them behind one another these knots will actually be able to slide on the line but they won't be able to slide past each other and that's why the uni to uni knot works and it's also why it's so effective for lines of differing diameters now to get started we just want to overlap our lines about eight inches just like that at this point you're just going to pinch the two lines together somewhere right in the middle now it doesn't matter which side you start on but I'm going to go ahead and start on this side over here and take this tag in and I'm going to wrap it downward forming a loop and pinch that right over top of both lines, just like that. At this stage, we're gonna take this tag end and we're gonna wrap it around both lines inside of this loop. For heavier line, I like to do four to six wraps, and for lighter line, six to 10 wraps. These braids have a thicker diameter, so we're gonna do five wraps. So we'll go ahead now and start our wraps and we're just gonna count them out. We got one, two, three, four, and five. Just like that. Next, we're just gonna lubricate all of this stretch here with the twisted line with a little bit of saliva. Just like that. And we'll finish the uni knot on this side by pulling our tag in here, just to cinch that loop all the way up. Now we have our blue line representing our leader material tied to our main line with a nice classic uni knot. And now we're gonna essentially repeat the same exact process on the opposite side with the yellow line. So we'll take our main line now and we'll bring it around forming a loop, pinching across both of those lines. And now we'll go ahead and repeat the same wrapping process with five wraps. We've got one, two, three, four, and five. Now once again, we'll lubricate this stretch here. Just like that. And then just like we did on the other side, we'll go ahead and start cinching the uni knot down on this side. Just like that. Now at this stage, we have two uni knots. We have one tied from our leader to our main line and one tied from our main line to our leader. Now the last step is gonna be to bring these together, but before we do, we're gonna lubricate this entire stretch between the two knots. Just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and start pulling these lines apart to bring those two uni knots together in the middle. Once the knots meet, we'll go ahead and wrap our line around fingers on both sides like this, and just make sure we pull it extra tight. Now to finish, we'll just trim the two tag ends here as close to that knot as possible, just to make sure it can come through the guides more easily. And now we're left with a completed uni to uni knot. And now just to make it a little easier to follow, let's go ahead and watch that again in slow motion.
we're back. Thank you guys again for taking time to watch my video and I hope you got some value from it. Anytime you guys need to tie two lines together, especially if they have different diameters, the Unity to Unity knot is fast, it's easy, and it's strong. Just keep in mind that for heavy line, you guys wanna do about four to six wraps and for lighter line, six to 10 wraps. For example, if you're tying a 15 pound braid to a 40 pound fluorocarbon leader, you wanna wrap the fluorocarbon around the braid four to six times, but you wanna wrap that braid around the fluorocarbon six to 10 times, probably closer to 10. Even if the lines have different diameters, you want those knots to be relatively similar size. That's gonna make sure that the knots don't slip past each other and that your big fluorocarbon knot doesn't slide over the top of your thin braid knot. If you guys did find some value here and you wanna learn more knots, I'll leave a link down in the description to my complete knot tying series so you guys can check those out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.